What's going on you guys, this is All Daily Day 1 of the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you guys another Ghost Recon Breakpoint video. So with this video I'm going to be giving you guys going to be actually on a topic that a lot of people have been asking about, whether they think the Silver Stake or the Silver Stake Tactical is better. So this this question has popped up on my streams and a lot of my comments and I even seen it just posted elsewhere like on the Facebook groups and stuff in our Discord. So. I'm gonna just explain the differences of these two weapons and how you get these two weapons and which one I prefer using. Um, I do want you guys to keep in mind this is my personal preference. It's my own opinion. Obviously, someone else might like one other than the other, or the other over the other. So, first things first is you can get the Silver Stake Tactical from completing the Walker's mission. So, when you go to your objectives board, you can go click on Lieutenant um, Coldy Walker. And then it's gonna be, I think it's brother versus brother. Yeah, brother versus brother. You go here, and then you're gonna end up going against Walker, which is going to be located all the way. I think it's over here. Yeah, right over here. So at Howard Howard Airfield, all it requires is you to be 100 plus in gear score to for these enemies, because they're not gonna be too hard to kill. There is a behemoth here as well, just to keep that in mind. Um, but honestly, I think you could just skip all the enemies and then just go directly to the boss or to to Walker. Now, Walker is not too bad to kill. If you really just want to get the weapon, you just put it on easy difficulty and then just kill him like that. Because he does have um, immune Jones that you have to kill before you can actually kill Walker. And he, his pistol is extremely strong, and so is his rifle. But... Yeah, so if you want to get the Walker's Tactical um, AR, all you have to do is just go here. You can just, you can honestly go here right at the beginning of the game. Probably bring someone who is a higher level though, just to get this done out of the way. Now, for the other Silver Stake, which is right here, you get this, well, you would have only actually gotten this for completing, I think it's like rank 20 or rank 30 in Act 2 of the faction missions, but now since they gave away all the rewards for Act 1 and Act 2 in your faction mission rewards for free, you can just go straight into your blueprints and craft this. So you can go to a bivouac or you can go to um, the shop from Maria and you should be able to see the silver stake there. As you can see, it's right here. Now, what is the difference between the silver stake and the silver stake tactical? Well, the difference is one of them is a burst and the other one is not a burst. The other one is an uh, auto rifle or auto. Um, so the Silver Stake Tactical will only go into a burst mode. It can only go burst or single fire. The Silver Stake in general, the, in general, just the base Silver Stake, can go in auto or it can go in single fire. Obviously, you want to put it in auto if you really want to make use of the damage. Now the stats on both of these are literally the same exact thing. One is not higher than the other. Recoil, accuracy, range, mobility, and damage per bullet, rate of fire, and the reload speed and ammo type and the ammo capacity are all the same. The only difference is one is burst, which is the tactical, and one is auto, which is the silver stake. Now, for myself, I prefer the Silver Stake because I'm not a big fan of Burst Rifles. Now, Burst Rifles are still really good if you want to keep up, because technically it's easier to keep up the fast DPS with the Silver Stake Tactical, because the Burst Fire tends to shoot faster than the Silver Stake in general, because it goes boom, 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 whereas the Silver Stake goes boom, 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 boom. Like, I mean, I don't really want to know how the um, sound effects would really go, but hopefully you guys kind of understand what I mean so the silver stake tactical technically puts out more damage but the silver stake is easier to control because it's in it's an auto and it's easier to it's easier to have controlled DPS versus burst DPS I, I guess if that makes sense to you guys um, I guess the range looks slightly different not too much I, I don't know I'm just tripping out right now but yeah no the Tactical puts out more damage quicker, but the Silver Stake is easier to control. You can pretty much land all your shots. For example, if you're going against Gargoyle, you can you, you don't have to rely on the burst because if you shoot Gargoyle with a burst, you can hit one of your three shots because Gargoyle moves around too much. Or if you're going against Supercomputer, 
um, you know, it opens up, you might not get all your shots connected because it closed out too quick. Having the silver stake for the auto version seems to do better because it's just easier to control your shots. You tend to not miss as much. You can get more of your shots landed, which in the end results in higher DPS because of the fact that you're not missing any shots. All your shot opportunities are connecting and whatnot. But like I said, it does come down to personal preference. It isn't one is better than the other. Obviously for me, the Silver Stake is better than the Silver Stake Tactical, but I've used both and they both do the work. They, they both do the same job. But like I said, it's just, it comes down to preference, burst versus auto. Um, but that is pretty much it with this video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well. And I will try my best to help you guys out to the best of my ability. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all I'm going to do one on the PS4. Have a good day. Good night and peace.